Transitions are inevitable, but they don't have to be unbearable. With the right coaching and training, they can even be profitable. Let us be your strong bridge from where you are to where you want to be. When we go through seasons of disruption and change that gets mandated to us by other people's choices or decisions, uh, or we're just going through a transition, there is quite a reality check on the other side because we think throughout the entire experience we're going to go back to normal. We're going to get back to normal. Whew, I'll be so glad when everything goes back to normal. Well, I have interesting news. It never goes back to normal. <laughs> no, things have changed. Uh, it's not going to be normal the way you remember normal. That's going to be true in our individual lives and in our businesses, organizations, companies, and our teams. Things have changed. Why? Because people have changed. Their, their perspectives, their thoughts, uh, what they've experienced, it shapes and molds us. And so on the other side of a disruption, on the other side of a transition, like we are experiencing now and are slowly starting to kind of make our way out of, if your expectation is that everything's just going to go back to the way it was and be normal, you're going to be disappointed because things are different. Things have changed. You have changed. The way we think has been affected. So we now have new words in our vocabulary that we didn't have before. Pandemic, COVID-19, uh, uh quarantine. These are all things that we didn't really talk about prior to this, but they're going to come with us onto the other side. There are heightened fears, heightened concerns, how we do business, how we make choices. All of these things have been affected. So when we come through, if you're hoping for normal, like you remember normal, that will not be your reality there's going to be some type of a new normal. Now, it might be very close. It might be extremely familiar. It might uh, bring up uh, memories of this is more like it, but it won't be the same. That's important to know. And for us in uh, companies, businesses, organizations, and teams as leaders, we need to understand that people who come through this are different. Our customers are different. Our clients are different. Our market is different different. Now, there will be some things that we'll recognize. There will be things that won't have drastically changed, but other things have. And it's important that we pay attention to what has changed. If we don't pay attention, if we try to just show up and do everything the same way we did before all this happened, we are going to struggle and we may not make it uh, in this new market. We're going to have to stay agile and innovative and creative. And we need to be sure that we know what questions are being asked now and what problems that we need to be able to help solve actually are. Because the questions have changed, the problems have changed, and the people have changed. They have different things on their minds. They're asking different questions. They have new problems. And the people in business uh, and, and our leaders who can think about those new questions and those new problems and find those solutions and answer those questions are the ones who are going to come out of this better. The new normal, the word normal, <laughs> it's kind of relative. And if you're expecting that when this is all over, everything will go back to the way it was, it won't. Prepare yourself. This is what transitions do. They bring us from one place to another place. So as we come out of this season that we've been in, let's enter the next season prepared. Let's ask, what have we learned? What are, what are the new questions? What are the new problems? Let's be sure that we can address those. What are the new priorities? What things va are valuable to us now that we didn't recognize as much before? These are all ways that we benefit from challenging seasons. Yeah, if you're hoping to get back to normal, 
prepare to be disappointed. But if you're willing to embrace what a lot waits for us on the other side, you can actually get prepared to get excited because there's opportunity on the other side. And this can be a great season if we learn how to embrace it and engage in its processes and learn from it, we can do more than survive this. We can actually thrive. Transitions and disruptions are inevitable. Being prepared is a choice. Is your team ready for the next disruption? We can help.